Hello you boys and girls, my name is HotoC and welcome back to more oxygen not included. Uh, last time uh, we had a little catastrophe. Half our colony died. If you want to know how they came about, check out the last episode. And today we have to work on uh, bringing the colony back up to four duplicates. We need a researcher and uh, maybe the, the calories, the food that we have available is part of the problem that the duplicates did die. So we have a need to have a sustainable food source and uh, part of the problem you can see here on this side it's just too damn freezing cold here on rhyme or on this rhyme asteroid you can see uh, everything is blue or almost everything is blue uh, because uh, even in here in the center of our base it's barely above zero and if we go out here it's freezing cold even here on the other side we have a bit of a, a temperature shift uh, but that's just not not good enough let's see do we get any food out of here um, no Curative tab uh, tablets. I don't think we are yet in a situation with food wise to get another duplicate. Up here, uh, we also managed to uh, uh, to get this system set up. Um, we have the proper gases in here but as they are still going in and out well we will get uh, the wrong gases in here that is kind of unavoidable um, we do have isolated tiles, so I think we can start planning out the, the base a bit here. Um, think here on this side. Want to maybe go to to here? We do not need a, a massively big uh, base. I think. Let me come up here and then down. to here over and then something like this and as I only have two duplicates it does not make sense that they uh, really start uh, getting that done um, because they have to do other works as as well maybe what I am thinking if we can maybe move this heater up here 
we could get enough worms here from from this side so it would be feasible that also those grow um, then we can have another lamp there and connect that we do have a coal generator there, so they do not need to run on the on the treadmill um, in order to get the power. But of course, occasionally they have to fill in coal there. Disable this building that saves us a bit of energy because we do have uh, oxygen production from there. And yeah, so I planned out a lot of things and we just have to wait a bit on events to start moving. Uh, mainly on the food front before we can really think about duplicates so I think this will do for the first part and uh, uh, we will see what we can achieve in the meantime now that our farm is a bit reworked with uh, better uh, lighting and uh, more heating on both sides I think we can get out enough food uh, to get at least one more duplicate also had created a hatch farm up here um, which will mainly focus on the coal supply that we need down there but we might also get a few excess hatches that we can slaughter and the reason why we have so high calorie is uh, we got a bit of barbecue some fried mushrooms out of the of the portal and then also the the slicks they hatched we killed them that got us a bit of uh, meat there as well but as you can see it's not uh, sustainable uh, because it's a random chance uh, based on what we get out of here and in order to grow our colony we have to be able to sustain ourselves then here on this side that's also mostly working um, I still lack a bit of, uh, of energy, do not get enough uh, hydrogen out of here, might be because uh, uh, I only have partial setup running and one problem that I noticed here, the, the water that froze in the pipe so I replaced it with isolated pipe so that does no longer happen at least I hope it does not uh, but we will see at least uh, oxygen in our base is looking good uh, we have uh, high carbon dioxide here in the lower portion but as soon as this water runs out we have to dig through here anyway and that should lower the the level there as well um, and then of course we probably have to figure out some way how to deal with that in the end um, 
also got uh, an, uh, another arbor acorn that we can then uh, point move over there and uh, a fungal spore I'm not sure how uh, useful that is because slime on this asteroid is not that plentiful so we are looking for uh, ideally a combination researcher builder cook uh, and none of them has that trait so we will just wait uh, a while longer and while we're waiting we can for sure build up our um, food um, I saw there that some of the food has rotten uh, but I think that's just an indication that we have more food that we are consuming um, if we were there at the limit that would not happen so let's see when we get a, a usable duplicate out of this portal looks like we get half our wish duplicate with researching and building uh, cooking we would have over here um, but I think uh, Gossman is the far better choice so let's take him and put him on researching so we can complete the, the research that we need uh, in order uh, for a smart battery down here so we can better control uh, when the coal generator is actually running which should reduce the amount of coal we are using because now the generator is running even when the battery is full which is a waste and as you can see I put here a second uh, hatch farm hatch stable because with four hatches in here they already feel overcrowded is not that great um, but yeah we have to we have the room for for another one and then up here I inserted a, a filter because with the with the current setup I often had oxygen going up here and I just got tired of fixing the generator again and again uh, and as you can see there's not really that much uh, hydrogen that goes up there um, we still have quite a bit of uh, oxygen uh, left here that we have to uh, to suck out before this is then uh, properly working but I think we are on a on a good way um, uh, our farm is producing uh, so let's see uh, if with three duplicates we have a somewhat stable uh, calorie source and then we maybe have to think about what to do uh, to even increase that in order so we can get one more duplicate in here our calorie supply or yeah our calories are pretty stable with three duplicates even though uh, we get the uh, occasional food that goes bad so I think we 
could risk another duplicate, especially if they can cook, because through cooking we can increase the calories. And by the looks of it, we have two that have cooking. Uh, so let's look at the, at the traits. Uh, noodle arms, that's not that great. Otherwise, don't care about the artistic license. Slow learner, yeah, could be better. And I think we will stick with, uh, with Ori. Uh, make him the cook. Uh, make him the cook first. Give him the grilling hat uh, and then you go into building and these two yeah maybe a bit of strength there but otherwise I do not want to overburden them uh, less they get low morale and we get into more trouble so if we look we are still quite blue in here and i figured one reason is that the oxygen that comes in here um, is not that warm because if we look at there that's the gas is in the minus so that's probably the project for the for the next time to uh, retain the heat we have here in the water that is then uh, transferred here into the gas because if you look at the gas up here the oxygen is still positive not much but it is still positive so what we probably want to do is isolate this thing so uh, it's not cooled down from the outside and then make sure that this whole pipe here also does not lose the heat but that's a whole other project for the next time we have our four duplicates back currently also sitting at 33,000 kilocalories and I hope with, uh, with our new chef here that will only go up but we will see in the next episode until then goodbye